how to respond to the requirement, I need a report in the 2023 version. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, this video is inspired by a conversation with a co-worker a couple of days ago where, you know, a client asked for a report and um, a, uh, a developer chose not to create a report as the answer to the, the request. And, and, and it raises some philosophical um, questions uh, of what is a report in 2023? Um, the problem with people like me, uh, and there are many, but one of them is that you know our our brains get hard coded, hardwired into you no know, certain neurons are truly connected to others, and uh, and the challenge is that we have something called a report in Business Central. We have an object type called a report. You know, a report prints out on paper on a, on a printer and 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 that's the way it has been for the last you know many many years um but what is actually a a report these days uh and and i i think old timers like me really need to make sure that that we we consider what is actually the ask because quite often their ask is to present data in a specific way more than it is to deliver the data on paper um, and uh, we can now present data in in very many different ways without having to actually use a piece of paper um, and, and 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 one of the super cool things that has come to Business Central uh, lately is the uh, uh, analysis mode of, of list views. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a list view. And, and if you see this checkbox, analyze, then you have it. If you don't see it, it might be because in feature management, uh, there is a feature that is here. Feature preview analysis mode quickly analyze data directly in Business Central. It might not have been enabled for you. So you can go into the analysis view and enable it. Um, small asterisks next to that. That means that it is, is enabled for everybody on all pages that Microsoft right now uh, find compatible with with the concept uh, so there's no way for for me as a developer there's no way for you as the sys admin to say you know, well peter is not allowed to use this uh, uh, or we should not use it on on this in this place but we should use it on another place that will come uh, I, I believe that's on the that's on the roadmap for for BC version twenty three, so be aware that that little asterisk that that if if potentially this can give you access to data that you might have uh, filtered out in, in different ways uh, and 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 you could potentially open open up for data that somebody is not allowed to see by using this function. Anyway, that warning aside. When it is enabled, this is what you get. So right now I'm here on, on my general ledger entries and uh, well, I can I can open a chart of account, but, but, but I can't really do that much. But if I turn on the analysis mode here, uh, at first glance, nothing has changed, right? This just, you know, well, well we get a nice alternating uh, gray background uh, and and columns are slightly different uh, we do get the option of on the fly moving stuff around eh, that's nice uh, but 
we can do that with personalization also. So, so that is not um, not really an advantage. The first huge thing here, and 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 people might not think about this until I mention it, is that this one will tell you how many rows there are in the view you see. So I cannot count the amount of time I've seen somebody, you know, they, they, they set up a filter of something and then they click open again in Excel. They open the Excel sheet, they go to the last row and figure out, oh, there's 7,000 records here because they needed to count how many there were in a, uh, in a list view. I have, kid you not, considered well, not anymore, but consider adding a super simple app to App Source. The only thing it will do, it will, it will give you the option of telling how many there are in a view, how many records there are in whatever view you're in. Uh, because so often that's either, or here, can you add a, a how many lines are there or stuff like that, customization all the time. But now we get it. So, so that is you know that's the first super cool report thing because that might just be a report yeah, we need to know how many items we have uh, over a uh, hundred dollars in unit price you set the filter and then you open excel to count the records not anymore you set the filter you hit analyze but when i'm talking about filters there are there are two filters in place here so there's the the the, the filter we have on the page that determines how many records get into this view uh, and right now there's limitation uh, hard limitation set by microsoft that we will only work with a hundred thousand uh, uh, rows or less so if if you if you want to do use this and you have millions of records then this is not the tool then you still need to you know go to power bi or, or something else um but as long as you're under, under 100,000 records, this tool will work. Um, but as I said, we're not, apart from the count, which is a big deal, we're just you know seeing the same data again. So what is actually special in here? Well, the special in here are these two uh, boxes on this side. The, the, the first one is, an extra set of filters, which is, well, when you're working in here and, and you already got the data, then you can you can filter without having to get them from the database again, because now they're sitting in the browser, basically. So they're sitting in memory, all these lines, so you can you can go and filter here. Uh, and, and the weird thing is that you cannot do you cannot do a, a a classic filter you cannot do a business central filter so this is slightly different like in range uh this, you don't do dot dot one date another day you type two dates and you select in range so this is slightly different but so these filters are working on top of the filters you get over here um so bear that in mind so these filters are just working on the, the in-memory data set you have. Uh, the other one, that's the, and, and I think I need to, let's, uh, so there's something else behind the scene here. Uh, let's actually make it so we can see, get rid of that Visual Studio there. There we go. Okay, so, so in here there are, three things first there's a list of columns so let's say that we really don't need the the general posting type the so we, you can get rid of columns in here uh, or maybe we don't care about the balance account type and, and so on um, similar to a personalization but it's Per report, and and when I say per report, it's actually you can see that we have a report over here called analysis one, and let's uh, let's rename that to demo twelve. So I can create another one, so I can have multiple reports or views sitting, and they are they are they are saved to me on this page uh, in PC version twenty three. 
there's an option actually to share them with with other users. Um, so so you can you can select the you can you can select the columns and you can see at, that the columns are all the ones that are actually on the page even though they might not be shown. So currently we only see uh, we only see amount uh, also on the normal page, but we do have debit amount and credit amount because they are on the page; they're just not visible. So your starting uh, data set is all the columns that are there, whether they're visible or not. Going back to the uh, the the warning uh, that if you have hidden stuff because people weren't supposed to see it, they can see it here. Um, but what we can do is that we can take a uh, a field and in this case let me take the GL account number and then I drag it down to row groups and now you can see and let's actually get rid of a lot of, uh, some of these no no let's ignore that right now so now you can see that now we get this is what on the on this account so we we suddenly have a uh, a fold in fold out scenario um i could grab posting date also put this down here so now we have two levels uh what i hope at some point microsoft will do is that th they can create an abstraction so we can get whenever it's a date field we, we can get it uh, like month periods uh, on, on some. But in this case, we, you know, see now we get on this date, we have one entry and then a subtotal and this we have one, it's probably, oh, there's two there and so on. So now, now we're building a, a, a fold in, fold out interactive uh, report. And we can see that in this case, it's saying that we are, we're gonna sum the, the amount field and we're going to sum debit and credit and since we're not showing debit and credit we can just get rid of them and we're still just doing a sum here um, we can also turn this into pivot mode and now it actually you can see that we just get the sum and the account and we can we can go and look and the, so different view nicer view the pivot pivot view so really depends on 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 how how you want to view this what you cannot do right now is that there is no no export to excel uh, as a pivot view in excel that would be cool but but uh i did not see that on uh, on on the announcements of what's coming next but very often uh when when, when no going back to i need a report what folks actually need are exactly this. Uh, so, so sometimes now the answer is you already have it. Click on analysis, select this field and that field, and you're good. And your customer says, "Oh, perfect! That's exactly what I need." In other cases, what you might need to do is that you need to you might need to create a list view of the data and populate it with the right columns and so on. And then give that list view to the client and say, here you go. All you need to do is uh, is is click uh, analyze, and and you got you can f you can find all your numbers. Um, so I think this is amazing. I I, I use it myself uh, so much now in uh, in. In Hogarth.com, you create a view so I can, you know see how many apps are sold where and how and 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 and, and so on, uh, and basically fulfill all my uh, my reporting requirement. And maybe I'm luck that I have not yet sold a hundred thousand apps. Uh, uh, we'll cross that bridge at some point, I hope. Uh, and and then I guess that's a good problem to have. But so far. I can do anything. I can get all the uh, uh, the views I need out of this just because at some point I created a a table that hold all information on what was purchased and when and how and subscription all, all that information and then 
I just goof around in this and, and when I have a good one, I, I save it and then, you know, I select when, if I need to look at numbers, I go in and select the right view and I'm done. So I need a report. Well, maybe you don't need a report. You need to get data presented to you. And you know, sure, in some cases, uh, people truly need something printed out on paper. Uh, but most cases these days, no, that's actually, you don't need a report. You need your data presented to you in a way where you can look at it and it, ma it makes sense. And I think this is a great way to do it. Uh, and um, I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments below if, if, if you still spend all your time actually creating paper reports for your clients because they never are find this a, an acceptable uh, acceptable uh, solution uh, and when you're done doing your comments you can check this video out for more ale hacking go check it out it's a good one i'll see you there take care bye